NASA is just hours away from hopefully landing its most advanced robot ever sent into space on the surface of Mars. The Perseverance rover is on a mission to find signs of life on the red planet, but half of previous Mars landings have ended in disaster. Gio Benitez has more on what we can expect today. Are we alone? Are we the only ones? I think we're just fundamentally curious about our place in the cosmos. We've been thinking about the possibility of life on other planets for hundreds of years now. And this is our first opportunity to perhaps find it. Engine ignition, two, one, and liftoff. That is the incredible mission of Mars 2020, to determine if life exists or has ever existed on another planet. Three and a half billion years ago, when life was just getting a toehold here on Earth, Mars was wet and warm and very similar environment to that which Earth has. So there's a possibility that early Mars was habitable for life and that life could have also started on the red planet. To answer that question, NASA scientists have created the most advanced robot ever sent into space. Perseverance has within it the most complex, sophisticated robotic system we've ever sent outside of Earth. We're landing the heaviest payload that we've ever landed. Perseverance rover is roughly the size of a car. It's about 10 feet long. She is the biggest rover, the heaviest rover. She has got packed with firsts from the bottom to the top. It's part of a mission that has been more than eight years in the making, with a price tag of $2.7 billion. Its destination, an ancient dried up lake called Jezero, three and a half billion years old. Based on everything we know about that environment, it was habitable. Life should have been there. So I think we are very optimistic, I'm very optimistic, that we will find signs of ancient life there if they ever existed on Mars. There's no reason why they shouldn't be there. Don't expect them to find creatures like we've seen in movies like Mars Attacks. Martians. <laughs> Funny looking little critter, ain't it? What they hope is to find something much simpler, ancient evidence of tiny microbe-sized life. But none of this will happen until the rover is safely on the planet. Space is hard. When I started this work, over 65% of all the missions that went to Mars had failed, had ended in disaster. It's so difficult that only one country has been successful in landing a rover so far, and that's the United States. Looking forward, this NASA mission is the first of three, part of a plan called Mars Sample Return that will ultimately retrieve rock samples Perseverance gathered from Jezero Crater and bring them back to Earth, hopefully as definitive proof of extraterrestrial life. If we can find evidence of life on Mars, then we're gonna realize that we're a bigger part of the life story. It's not just an Earth story, it's a universe story. I hope that happens. That would be a super exciting um, a thing to see. There's a lot of things that have to happen in order to pull this off. Whether or not we can do it, absolutely yes. Is it easy? Absolutely not. Will it happen? I don't know. I hope so. And once we prove that, new questions arise. Not are we alone, but now what or who is out there? Now, when will we actually see images once this lands? Well, here's a full-scale model of Perseverance. You see that mast right there? There are five cameras on that alone. The whole thing has about 23 cameras. Seven of those cameras are gonna be dedicated just to those seven minutes of terror. So we're gonna start seeing that roll in later tonight, and you're gonna see it right here on ABC News Live. Diane. So many of us are geeking out over here, Gio. This is awesome, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.